can I wake in the morning, I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream to the top of my lungs, what the f is going on? Ah, the bike's here guys. I can't see. That's oh, good. Hi. Hi. All right, everyone. We are here at Indian, and this is the new bike. Let's hop on it. We're going to drive it home. This is the 2022 Indian Scout Bobber 60. Ooh, she's small. I'm not used to the low bars. It's so quiet. It's quiet. That's my buddy there. He's gonna be following me home. He's got the kids in the car. All right, ABS, so I don't have that on my bike. Yeah, yeah, cut him right off. Ah, uh, ooh, I feel naked. It's got no nestle for the headlight. It's got the uh, stem mirrors, which I should adjust. I think we're good here. All right, and we're going. Oh, it feels tight too, like the, the shifting compared to mine. I guess the guy said there's no break-in period, so that's pretty nice. It just feels small because of the bars, but I promise you it is not it's the same size as my bike. But for some reason, I just feel a little more crammed up on it. It might just be in my head. I gotta see if the controls are the same too. I don't know if they're different, but here we are. We got the brand new bike. As you can see in the beginning of the video, he did just buy the comfort seat while we were there. Why not? What's an extra 250 to spend in 13? So uh, not a big issue, he bought that. I told him in the long run, it's gonna be well worth it. Homie! Yes! But yeah, we're finally here. We got the 2022 Indian Scout Bobber 60. We can finally go on rides, I can't wait. I am riding at home just because he is a new rider, so he just wants to be cautious. It's like a 45 minute to an hour ride home. And instead of risking it, trying to uh, make that drive, which I'm sure he could, no problem. He's uh, done the motorcycle safety course. He passed that with no issues at all. He's rode in the past, but it's just like a security thing. He just wants to make sure that the bike gets back in one piece. Oh man, does this exhaust suck. Stock exhaust is horrible. And it's chrome. They completely chromed it out. Like what the heck? Why would you do that, guys? I guess it's because of the part shortage. Now, he also ordered the bar end mirrors. And as you can see, it has stem mirrors, which is borderline annoying. He personally made sure he ordered the bar end mirrors. And yet here we are, no bar end mirrors. And the guy at the dealership told us that they don't make them anymore. And eh, false. I'm not buying it. So uh, here we are with our stem mirrors, which are absolutely putrid. I can't stand them. I mean, they, they serve their purpose, sure, but ugh. Man, it feels weird having my arms down like this. I'm used to the 10 inch mini apes. He'll probably uh, get a pair eventually, but no rush. I just thought it was strange that the dealer told him that they don't really do bar ends anymore. Like they don't make them. Eh, I feel like that was a cop out just because they forgot to do it but he didn't have to pay the extra fee anyway, so whatever, we'll throw him on there. You can't have an Indian Scout bobber without the bar ends, come on, yeah. You might as well just buy the Scout. A little different than mine. Like I said, I know I've done some things to make mine different, but I don't know, the, the controls seem like they might be, I don't know, a little further back. I feel like my feet stick out more, but I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, this bike is four years newer than mine. I know it's the same concept, it's the same Indian Scout Bobber, it's just the 60. But as far as I was aware, the 60s are the same size, they just have a smaller engine. So, we are going to compare that when we get home. 
because we're going to take this to my house and we'll have it right next to the 2018. We'll be able to see if the size of the bikes match up. And I, I mean, I think they do. It just, it just feels weird. And I really think it has to do with my my hand position being down instead of up. But yeah, I mean, God, it's an Indian Scout bobber. You can't go wrong. I knew I'd love the bike and I can't wait for him to take it out because I know he's going to love it. I cannot express how stoked I am to have this bike. It's not even my bike. I mean, it's my buddy's bike, but just to have this bike, we can go out on rides. Uh, it's going to be euphoric. Cannot wait. It took about four months for this bad boy to arrive. But as I knew, the wait is well worth it, people, I am telling you. So if you're thinking about getting one, do it. We'll be making future content on this channel of this bike, comparing it to my bike, the 2018 Indian Scout Bobber, the regular version, not the 60. And uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be doing some comparison tests see how they stack up against each other maybe we'll do some pulls together but once he gets more comfortable on the bike we're not going to push him to his limits we're not going to go over his limits i should say we're going to keep him at a safe comfortable speed we're not going to do anything crazy i mean i'm not a crazy rider myself so we'll be fine but plenty of comparisons any questions you guys may have about the 60 compared to the regular indian scout bobber let me know i will do my best to answer them as honest and openly as i can like i said i'm not going to rip on it right now even though the guy did say there's no break-in period uh we're just not gonna beat on my buddy's bike that's not cool this is his bike and i'm gonna respect him and his beautiful machine i know for a fact he is going to be stoked with this i really wish he would be able to do the first ride and take it home but like i said it's better to be safe than sorry you know it truly is i gotta wave to him you see my shadow i'm waving to him <laughs> i can't see him because he's mere suck where are the bar ends I want them! Uh, like I said, they serve their purpose. I'm not a fan, nor is he, but don't worry, we'll have that fixed in no time, I promise you that. We'll be covering any mods we do to this bike. We have the exhaust, we plan on doing that. Um, we'll probably do the exhaust here tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, I don't know. But I tell you what, we didn't even give that stock seat a chance, man. We saw they had the comfort seat in stock and we're like, yep, add it to the cart throw it in there there's no way he would enjoy himself on that stock seat i mean it is like this thick maybe that seat is a joke indian do better please i mean you made a better seat and you're upselling it it's a little ridiculous go ahead add that to your bikes <laughs> If someone wants the cheap, tiny little seat, all right, then let them have it. But hey, come on, let, let's uh, let's fix that. Man, was it a struggle to get this bike? He messaged me on Friday, and of course, Friday I go back to work. So I'm at work on my lunch break, and I get a message from Nick. He's like, "Oh, the dealer just called me. My bike's in." I was like, "No, you got to be kidding me!" Of course, it was but he works the weekend shift too so we decided we would do it monday now we're checking the weather the entire weekend and it keeps calling for rain on monday which is today so i woke up this morning checked the weather sure enough it's raining and thundering lightning all that fun jazz so I text him and I'm like, I mean, I'm still on to get the bike today. Like, we'll grab it. It's supposed to stop at noon. So he came over. We just hung out, anxiously waited, and everything dried up. It is a beautiful day out now. You couldn't even tell it rained earlier. And we officially have his bike. There's no more waiting. What's up, dog? Yeah, a little, little bit. It's definitely peppy. Like I said, I'm not gonna go jamming the throttle, but just giving it a little bit. It's it's got that it's got that little kick to throw you back. Still, you can feel it. It's enough to just push you back into your seat. 
and that's one of the greatest feelings of all time riding a bike just to feel that raw power just channeling right through your body man that's so awesome words cannot describe how awesome that is You know, we finally got the bike. Sorry about that one. Guys, can you see the shadow of the stem mirrors? Take them off. Man, we're gonna go on a nice windy road right here and we'll really be able to start flicking it around and seeing how she handles curves and all that fun jazz. I am going to be extra careful around corners because they are brand new tires as it's a brand new bike and as you all know when you get new tires you have to break them in for at least 100 miles. <laughs> Giving them the okay symbol. Can you guys see that in the shadow? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> letting him know that his bike is amazing oh some stanks probably that public pool Blech. now it smells like popcorn at first it smelled like a fart and then it smelled like popcorn why you ask i have no idea my hand is numb because these bars are short he needs some 10 inch mini apes. I'm just gonna give it some light flicks on the side of the road and kind of feel how it handles. Like a charm. It's so easy to flick this bike. God, that's insane. Another okay sign. Very good. Very nimble. I mean, it literally takes no effort to flip, flick this bike around. Also, for any of you guys that have the matte paint job, uh, what do you use to clean it? Obviously, I could go to Google, but I'm asking you. But man, is this matte black amazing. I'm just having very, very vivid flashbacks of when I fell in love with the Indian Scout Popper. Now, I was watching Brandon Picasso's channel. Shout out to you, Brandon. Your channel is absolutely amazing. Love the content you put out, brother. You've inspired me to do what I'm doing. You've inspired me to get my Indian. You've inspired me to inspire my friend to get his Indian. But I'm just having very, 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 very vivid flashbacks right now of this view of this beautiful, beautiful matte black finish Indian Scout Bobber. And I remember this video like no other, man. When Brandon got his bike for the very first time and he hopped on the highway, he was like a little kid on Christmas morning. And man, I tell you what, that, that feeling is so real. Man, it is just something you can't explain. It feels so good. I mean, he, he portrayed it so good in his video, but I mean, that was just his natural reaction. And I, I feel that right now. I, I mean, this bike is phenomenal. And just seeing it in all of its glory with the matte black, oh man, it's really just taking me back to that time. But thanks, Brandon, for being such a huge inspiration, making wonderful content for all of us to see. Love the build you just did. Can't wait to see what uh, further content you put on your channel, man. Definitely look forward to it. And hopefully one day we can go out for a ride. That's a stretch because you live very far away. I'm in Pennsylvania and you are not. <laughs> but we might be able to make it happen, who knows? I mean, the whole YouTube motorcycle community is really, really, truly something else. You guys are amazing, all of you. So much support within everybody. We're all here for the same reason. We love motorcycles. All of our content is different. You know, people post crazy videos. People post wholesome videos. People post cruising videos. You know, there's so much variety to go out there with. And you know, you could definitely find what you're looking for when it comes to uh, Indian motorcycle content on YouTube. I mean, anything motorcycle related, it's there, it's on YouTube. And I, since making my channel, man, it's been such a blast. Uh, I have so much fun doing it. And now that I have someone I can share the experience with and go out on rides and motivate me more to make awesome videos, 
I'm just so happy. I'm so excited for the future of this channel. Hopefully you guys are too. I know some of you enjoy my videos, and if you don't, that's fine. I like the little community we've grown on YouTube. 431 strong as I film this video, and that is truly something to be proud of. I, I, I am so happy that I've been able to reach that many people and have them enjoy my content the way I enjoy it. And hopefully we just keep growing from here and get larger and larger start doing group meetups and man it's just so awesome so awesome to be a part of this amazing community truly am blessed for all that and to have an amazing friend that is letting me ride his brand new bike right off the showroom floor i'm sorry i didn't film any of the content while we were in there but i have my two daughters and that's my main focus i was keeping an eye on them he is safely driving them in the car behind me you know I can't really be in there filming videos while trying to take care of my girls. They come first, so I'm sorry I didn't get any pre-footage for you, but I got some ride-in footage, and that's really what you guys are here for. If you have any questions of how it went, I will be glad to answer them, the whole transaction, but I, I, I can give you a spoiler alert right now for your questions. Everything went smooth. It was great. Like I said, besides the little mix-up with the bar ends, not a huge deal. We'll get that fixed. The bike is here and that's all that matters. Here we got a nice little corner here. Let's see how she takes it. Oh, very nice, very nice. Those are the signs we really love to see. Ooh, it looks like a snake. Yes, yes, yes. We love those, we love to see it. We love to see it. Another one, another one bites the dust. Oh yeah, we love to see that. Oh, we love to see that. Man, does this bike handle it like a champion. Oh yeah, absolutely perfect. Look at that, wow. Man, is that amazing. Whew, God, I feel so good right now. I'm so happy. This is amazing. Oh, this is what riding's about for me, man. Just those little twisty rows. Oh, I feel so good. Handles like a dream. It's such a nimble bike. I'm sorry I'm singing so much in this video, but I'm sorry. I'm excited. So in reality, I'm not too sorry for expressing my emotions. If you guys are a fan of Stranger Things, but I cannot get the Eddie solo out of my head from uh, Metallica Master of Puppets. It's like on loop all the time. And yes, I was a fan of Metallica <laughs> before Stranger Things people. Calm down. I just can't get it out of my head now. That'd be amazing if that was playing in my helmet right now. <laughs> just hitting these windy back roads. Oh man. Would that hype you up or not? Oh, that'd be so awesome. Bow. Hey, you guys signed up for this. You subscribed to my channel. I told him earlier on the car ride up, I said, get ready because we are going to be uh, like a dual karaoke. Because <laughs> when he gets excited, he likes to sing too. As do I. Oh, look at this road right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, yes. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, overall first thought to the bike, man. I absolutely love it as I fully expected to. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to try to be biased just because I have an Indian. But I, I really, really, really enjoy this bike. And if it was my bike and it was the first one I purchased, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd be ecstatic. And I would be doing the same thing I'm doing with my bike. Keeping it for many, many years to come. I absolutely love this motorcycle. I've had a blast riding it. These roads have been so fun going down. 
It's been amazing conversing with you guys, sharing the experience. I'm glad you guys are all here for it. We have another big corner. But as the windy roads come to an end, so does the video, guys. I've had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any ideas for future content on the bike, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Like I said, any questions about the bike, let me know. Any video ideas, throw them my way. We'll be more than happy to answer them and reply. We definitely have a lot to look forward to on this channel, guys. A lot of content incoming. Uh, a lot of content. We're going to be busy. But we're going to be having fun. And that's all that matters. And as always, guys, stay safe. Peace out.